It's me again, the Puzzle Master, and I'm going to be making this video today about dandelion tea. Here we have some in a glass. It's so good. Um, to be honest, this isn't actually 100% dandelion tea. Um, I went through the garden and picked, I don't know how many. Like, probably this much volume of, like, just flower heads that were actually, like, compacted into a container. So, hundreds. Like, more than I, I, more than I cared to count. And so I put some boiling water in it. And I will be completely honest, it was kind of disgusting at first. <laughs> like, kind of bitter. But I added some sugar. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I made it palatable. And I even added some hemlock tea to this. That's why it's not 100% dandelion, because I diluted it with hemlock tea, which I like so much. Um, and that's a totally different plant, but I thought, hey, let's just mix them together. Um, I was reading about dandelions and the massive health benefits. And like, I know a lot about rare uh, Chinese herbal medicines, uh, like reishi or chaga. Um, what else? Mm -hmm. Maca is another good one. Or, um, like, even shiitake mushrooms have health benefits. Mushrooms in general are pretty good for you. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go into all those other things. Or, like, shizandra and passion flower and all that. Like, the other plants. This one's going to be about dandelions. And it helps, like, I'll read you a little blurb. Um, it has, it helps in digestive aid. Um, kidneys, our liver, uh, it's full of antioxidants, uh, it helps with cancer, uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, and what I'm reading this from goes into much more elaborate detail, but due to like copyright and all that, I don't want to elaborate too much. But basically, you can take from this that there's a wide variety of health benefits that are available to you just out in your backyard. Um, it also helps with cholesterol, gallbladder, inflammation, and immune system. And there's like paragraphs on each thing that go into more detail showing the studies that have been done. And a couple little things I want to add into this is that you can't just like, if you live in like the middle of a city or something and there's pesticides and herbicides and chemicals and uh, car emissions all throughout the air and all over the plants. You should be really careful um, when making this. Like maybe no, maybe don't collect dandelions from a, a field that is in a park that might have been exposed to chemicals. Um, but if you don't use herbicides or pesticides yourself, then you know that like your backyard would be pretty safe. Like, or if you're really, really paranoid, you could go on a nature hike and collect wild dandelions. And I'd actually recommend doing that just to compare them. Maybe they taste different in different environments. And different health benefits would be available, too. Depending on the growth conditions that the plant experienced, right? And um, so I'll give you a little review on like what it tastes like. Okay, well, right away, you can taste the dandelion. Um... It was kind of shocking when I when I first made it, and I had no sugar in it. I was kind of bitter. Um, I probably added about, hmm, I don't actually know, because to be honest, I poured uh, the sugar into it just via the bag. But I, I, when I do that, I don't like pour tons of it in. I just put a little bit and then taste it, and then put a little bit more and taste it until it's like just sweet enough. But I don't I don't add that much, so probably only like two or three tablespoons when this container was full, which it tastes delicious and it's so good for you and it's free in your backyard. You don't need to run to the corner store and buy pop. Like, that's just poison. Like, this is good for you. It's just common sense. That's what I think. Like, but through media brainwashing, they've indoctrinated everyone to think that things in nature are just weeds and Nothing is sacred anymore. However, uh, that's just the belief that they want to instill on people. 
the sacredness of nature uh, never went away, uh, even if people's attentions, like even if people had their backs to nature and clear cutting and oil spills, nature is still the same, and it's forgiving and heals. So, yeah, go make some dandelion tea and tell me what you think about it. Mwah. Thanks for watching my video.